Hello YouTube, Dan the Man here with the back with another video. And today I'm gonna be trying something I've wanted to do for a while. Alligator and a dewy sausage gumbo. <laughs> New Orleans style. What I have right now is one pound of alligator filet that I diced up. A pound of andouille sausage smoked. I've got a cup of oil, a cup of flour, um, chicken stock, um, and different vegetables. So when I wanted to try that, I do some research for it. Um, I got a giant Dutch oven on the stove that's heating up, and I'm going to start um, by making a dark roux, which is one part oil and one part flour. Now, for those of you guys who know from earlier videos, I am a classically French tra trained chef, and with French, we usually use butter instead of oil. But um, the traditional Cajun way, Creole way of doing it is you use oil or shortening or canola oil instead of butter. All right. Let's go over what I have here. I have two bowls of diced white onion. That I'm going to put in um, a bowl of celery and a bowl of green pe bell peppers. In, shall I say, in classic cooking, we use something called a mirepoix, which is aromatic vegetables. They usually consist of onion, celery, and carrots. But down in the south or southeastern part of the U.S., they do use a mirepoix, they call it the Holy Trinity, which is onions, celery, and green bell pepper. That's that, and then also for my own personal preference, I also have a bowl of some sliced okra that I will be putting in there. Depending whatever you like, uh, okra is one of those vegetables that can either be a complete turn-on or a turn-off for some people, mainly because it is slimy. So I put it in, you don't have to. I've also got salt and pepper and about one and a half tables, one and a half ounces of Creole seasoning. Alright, now with this dark roux, you are going to have to cook it for a long time. About 20 to 25 minutes for it to get to that dark chocolate like color. So that will probably be the longest part of this. I'm also going to serve this over some rice with, I'm also going to do another video of jalapeno cheddar cornbread, which I will most likely link at the end of this video. All right. All right, you guys, let this go on for about 30 minutes this dark roux and if you can see from the lighting um, that's the color you want it's about a dark brown kind of like a peanut butter color that's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna put the white on in there Now, one thing I forgot to mention, when you do make a roux and you do use it this dark, make sure you either use a wooden spoon or a wire whisk, especially when using a Dutch oven like this. Stay away from your rubber or your plastic. That's not going to do anything, it's not going to do any good. They're trash, they're going to burn and melt. Alright. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and I added the bell pepper, the celery, and the okra. I also added salt, pepper, and Creole seasoning. 
and now I'm gonna just keep stirring it for about four to five minutes uh, before I add my chicken stock and my sausage and my alligator. Now in a normal Louisiana gumbo they use they will use always andouille sausage and usually do like shrimp or crawfish things like that but I am allergic to shellfish so if you are you can use you always have to use and smoked andouille sausage I got this and the alligator from a place down in Naples Florida called Jimmy P's Butcher Shop in Delhi um, this was fourteen dollars for a one pound bag and this was thirteen forty for a pound and I ended up paying thirteen ninety eight but um, yeah it's a pretty good price I got four sausage links and I got a pound of alligator um, I will leave a link to their business down below in the description so if you are from that area from Fort Myers or Lee County or Collier County check them out they've got really good food really good prices and they do exotic meats also it's called Jimmy Peas highly recommend like I said you this is kind of the color you want like this dark brown chocolate color for the roux um, depending on your stove if you have gas or electric as you can see I have electric um, it'll take about 25 20 to 30 minutes this took me about 30 to do um, to get to that color next I'm gonna add my stock and my sausage and my alligator and then I'm gonna put the pot on or the lid on and I'm gonna let it simmer for about 45 minutes all right, and I'm using um, chicken stock. Like I said, a traditional New Orleans gumbo. They're going to be using a seafood stock or a shrimp stock. But because I'm allergic, I'm using chicken. You can also use beef if you want. All right, you guys. So uh, everything's in there: this chicken stock, the alligator, and the andouille sausage. All in here. Now, like I said, I'm using um, what would be considered a Dutch oven. You can use a bit a pot if you want. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring it to a simmer, and then we're gonna put the lid on, and then. Let it go for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and then in that time, I will also be doing cooking the rice. And we should be ready back then. All right? So, see ya. All right. So, the gumbo has been simmering for um, about 25 minutes now. So, we still got another 30 left before it's done 25 to 30 minutes um, as you can see there is a layer of oil and grease that's coming off from the sausage um, and the onions and the oil that I put in there um, I will be skimming that off I'm not a fan of it I know most people aren't um, but yeah, you can skim it, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, YouTube, we are back. It's been another 25 to 30 minutes. We've let this simmer. Um, I did skim the fat with that ladle. I skimmed it in that bowl, tossed it in the sink. Right now after simmering for 45 minutes to an hour it's time to taste it's 
flavor is really good. That flavor is spot on. It's thickened it up nicely. Um, salt, pepper, that Creole seasoning gives it that nice Cajun spice. Now let's try a piece of sandwich sausage. I hope this is a good camera angle. It's good, nice and soft and tender. Um, the andouille sausage, we get that kick from it. Because it is a spicy sausage already. Very good. All right, YouTube, that's going to be it for this video. That was Andouille Sausage and Alligator Gumbo New Orleans Style. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, please. And then comment below if you think I could have improved something, what you liked, what you didn't, or if you have any recommendations for what you'd like to see me cook next. All right, stay tuned. This is your boy Dan the Man.